ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. It's Friday evening. We are outside of Harrods. And I'm here to show you how beautiful Christmas in London is. I'm gonna go to the other side to get a better angle, but this is a this is a nice one to start with. Let me try and zoom in so you see better. How gorgeous is this light? I was aiming to come here when it's not completely dark yet. It's maybe slightly darker than I would like it to be, but better this than complete darkness. I love this kind of the, this time of the day when it's not too dark yet. Let me zoom out completely. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, my dog. <laughs> it's middle of November. She's brave. How gorgeous is this? Let's have a little walkie, walkie around. It's been a very long time since I've been to central London. I've been filming a lot in suburbs recently. All sorts of places, south, west, east. It's so good to be back here. I'm gonna stay in central London for a while now. I mean, I would be silly to go to suburbs when central London looks like this. I would be stupid. Maybe here and there I'll go, you know, just to spice it up. But I crave it right now. It looks stunning. The lights are beautiful all over the place, so. This is precisely what I'm gonna do. Look at this red. You see, from, from coming from South Hall and all these Croydon and Neesden and all these places, coming outside of Harrods and you know seeing beautiful sports cars and everything, that's quite a contrast. So it's good to see for me right now. When I was in Dubai, I got sick of it, of course. Meaning, you know, if you see too much of it, you don't appreciate it. But for me right now, coming from all those suburbs back to central London, it feels like I'm on a holiday. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Let me take a picture, if I can, of a black cab with the lights. Black cap after black cap.
gonna go back that way yet. Let's explore going this way. Let's let's look what's what's happening in the in the shopping windows since I haven't been here since they put Christmassy shopping windows. It's all new to me. Oh, there's even this bit here that we can touch. Decoration, nice, nice. goodness the amount of bags that we've seen in Turkey in Istanbul literally the same I don't like this one at all I don't like any of them to be honest unless they are I don't know it's not what I wear especially that one with the flowers I don't like it but so many of them in in Istanbul as, as fake fake designer bags and so so cheap as well. See, I appreciate more something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. But that black one, I don't like. Sorry. It's not like I'm. I go anywhere where I would need a handbag to start with. But you know, I can I can comment on. On a, on a design if I see it, so that's my opinion. And Istanbul has so many markets full of those. Oh, yeah. All good, thank you. Full of those bags, full of those um, designer jackets and all sorts of things. Look at these decorations here, Wawa wow, Viva. Let me take a picture of that. Let me take a picture of that beautiful decoration. Looks like it's Christmas is round the corner. Oh my goodness. Another year. But at least I spent a lot of this year traveling, which was good or bad sometimes. Definitely not boring.
let's go around Gaharot while we are here. I need to plug in my external, sorry, my um, power bank. So today is Friday evening, let's see where we end up. I did consider doing a live stream today, I'm not gonna lie, but since I haven't had a chance to really film any Christmas lights really, um, I don't have any pre-recorded videos from Christmas lights, so tonight I'm gonna be filming only pre-recorded videos and then potentially I'll go to the gym as well since I haven't been for a week. So I'm just explaining why no live stream, and also YouTube, as I said many times, YouTube treats live streams as something secondary compared to pre-recorded videos. After two, three days, nobody will ever watch it. So my time is better spent doing pre-recorded videos like I'm doing right now. Um, since I'm getting views, on videos from 2016, 2017, still to this day. So those few hours filming them was so well spent compared to so many hours of live streams that nobody will ever watch. So just to explain, if YouTube treated live streams differently, I would only do live streams, believe me, but they don't, so it is what it is. <laughs> He is big enough to be my boyfriend, the only creature in London. <laughs> I, I was speaking to the security guy there, um, in case you were wondering. Also, this is the Kylie Jenner store. I saw somewhere she's opening a store here. Looks nice. I wish I could film inside, um, probably not. I tried a few times in Harrods, so I could get away with a little bit, but once you have a gimbal, they don't really like it. On a phone, holding just a phone, that's a different story, and I shall be doing that when the weather gets unbearable outside. I'm keeping inside of stores and stuff for those horrible days, and museums, and Sky Garden, and all those modern or wherever I will end up but for now the weather is incredible I'm in my sweater right now I don't even need a coat so I would be silly to do that right now there will be January February March where you won't see you won't see me outside <laughs> you won't see me when the when the fountain of Trafalgar fountain freezes there is zero chance of me going out I was stupid enough to go out in the past absolutely not worth getting 1,000 views and getting sick for two months after that. Very bad. And everything hurts. It's incredibly painful, so... So good to be back to civilization, <laughs> if I may say so. 
and that's why change is always good you know sometimes as, I, as you know I get sick of central London as well especially you know the usual Soho Piccadilly Traf Trafalgar Trafalgar Square, Square and all that stuff there is only so much you can film that so it's good to go to to uh, suburbs it's good to mix it up Wow, wow, we were. So right now it's around 4.30, it's very busy, I love it. <laughs> How pretty is this? I love the balloons. Guys, I'm probably not gonna appreciate this vlog. Vlog? this video um, but you know many people don't live in London they don't have a they don't have access to Harrods and many of them would like to see what it looks like I've got people watching from abroad and all sorts of countries so many people find it interesting Christmas is only once a year so you have to suffer you have to suffer through this, I'm afraid. So it took us 20 minutes to walk around Harrods nice and slow, check out the shopping windows. That's the first place I would go. 
，但係高啲嘅，要差唔多咁，差唔多十嘅，十八、八幾定八幾？In an ideal world, I would end up on uh, South Bank tonight somehow by walking because they've got beautiful lights there like every every year. So let's see, let's see how that goes. It's busy guys, it's so busy here. In the past, I would have a tripod and a camera and I would come to busy places like South Bank, place it on the edge of an elevated step and, and zoom in and let the people come. I would be playing with my phone, you know, speaking to my friends and stay there for a good half an hour or so and do people watching. I've done so many videos like that. And right now that would be quite a decent place here as well. It's not as busy as South Bank on a good on a good day in certain spots, but close enough. So imagine me in the past I used to carry my tri tripod everywhere, <laughs> even even to Dubai and other places. That was the first thing I would be packing. No bikinis, no nothing. First thing was tripod and camera. I'm trying to cross the road to see what it looks like in a different in a different light. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's be naughty. Because the sky is getting darker by by the minute. We are going to leave the area, don't worry. Very soon. Oh my goodness, can you see? It actually changes. It gets brighter. You see that, those flowers? Amazing! Oh, the, la the lamp is so unfortunate right there. Never mind, you've got the idea. It is very beautiful. It is very beautiful to be here. Okay, we are done. Let's go for walkies. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do a quick 
quick view on the luxurious cafe concerto. Oh my goodness, you have to see these guys. Look, if I zoom out. Let's see if it's gonna happen again. It literally went completely dark and then lit up gradually, like a Mexican wave kind of thing. It's not happening right now, but. I love it, it's really nice. Anyway, let's walk away. <laughs> it's hard to walk away, it's very pretty. Maybe, listen, last time, last time, maybe I was gonna, I should have taken a beautiful picture with Harrods and the boat nicely zoomed in before I leave. Something like that. Anyway, let's go. Look where we are. Kingdom of Sweets. They need a staff I see on the on the window. I see a beautiful restaurant, so let's check it out. It 
Italian restaurant. I saw somebody send me news that beer is going up in uh, in London pubs. For me, that's good because I don't drink. I don't like beer, and I'm happy for those people who drink a lot because hopefully that will encourage them to drink less and spend less. So I see it only as a good thing. <laughs> Please don't kill me, but still, that's my point of view. That's how I see. That's how I see things. It's only for the best. Your liver will thank you. <laughs> A little detox. Here is the beautiful car we saw earlier. That's that's my color. This Lamborghini, that's my color, that's for sure. Oh my dog. You see this one here? Full of sparklies. Let's walk around a little bit. Lots of people taking pictures. I'm gonna join them, of course. Oh my dog. I'll send this to my friend who's got five Bentleys. Maybe he would like to add this to his collection. Really? Yes. In his mind, he's got five Maybe Bentleys. I have to meet him. <laughs> it's, unfortunately, it's only in his head that he's got five Bentleys. He likes to. Unfortunately, that is bad. Oh, she's touching it. I want to touch it too. <laughs> she got away with touching it. I want to as well. So cool. It is very cool. What I can do, I can at least go closer and see. Nice. Okay, I need to touch it. It's rough. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody said they don't want to clean it. Yeah, I guess I guess all the money they save on cleaning it. Hey. Bye. Bye, see you. You know, they probably don't have to. Not as much, since it's not a smooth surface. The wheels are impressive as well. My goodness. <laughs> Touching it gently is one thing, rubbing your your thingy, your coat all over it. So yeah, that's my color, that's my color, color of the beach. The owner must be disappointed because I'm pretty sure they're used to getting a lot of attention. It's a beautiful car, but not when it's parked next to a blink blink like that. So anyway, it's time to leave. Let me try and get a one more picture without anybody around here. Yeah, 
anyway, let's go. You see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> coming, coming to central London from suburbs, you know, you see stuff you don't normally see. And especially I came to Knightsbridge area, so it's a proper shock. Shock to the system for me. I like it here. Oh my gosh. She's as tall as me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> There is a proper traffic jam here, apparently. And 40 minute, 40 minute video is more than enough for now for me. I'm going to finish it right here and I'm going to start a new video. I'll have to decide where I'm gonna walk. As I said, ideally I would like to finish on, uh, on South Bank today by the beautiful lights. And I'm gonna divide my videos into 40, 50 minutes long, so Please press the like button, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.